Hey everyone, welcome to 3Band EQ. I'm your host, Hendo. Today, we're going to be checking out the uh, Boss Metalcore. Mm, I don't think you can see it. This is, a, uh, a, a, so I guess about five or six years ago, um, Boss started making pedals uh, that are not analog using actual uh, digital designs uh, to uh, power distortion pedals. Um, yeah, it totally flew over like uh, my head. I had no idea that this was a, a, a digital pedal um, up until when I got it. It's actually uh, technically my, my friend's pedal, but I'm demoing it for him today. Uh, and we're going to play through it. Check it. Check to see how it uh, sounds. It has, you know, the standard uh, level level and distortion in a, a two band EQ, low and high. I think this, this pedal sounds pretty rad. Again, let's just give it a quick little playthrough. Okay, so whatever for whatever the uh, reason, this pedal, the the indicate the red indicator light just stays on. I don't know if that's like actually meant to be. I don't think it is, but it's weird because when I uh, initially got the uh, pedal, it was it was uh, my uh, buddy had a nine volt battery in it, um, which is uh, you know obviously you can do that, and you know, all most Boss pedals are designed for that. I like to use uh, pedal power or um, or nine volt uh, equivalent uh, uh, power. Uh, systems for all my pedals just so you don't have to like waste time money on changing nine volt batteries and stuff or if if you forget like the key uh, the unplug the uh the input side of the pedal you don't kill a battery anyways so when it, when it uses a nine volt battery the red indicator would turn off now that i have the pedal power in it's just on the whole time so far that's the only complaint i have of this pedal so, um, also, I, I, as you heard in that, uh, uh, demo, like, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's got a pretty decent thick tone. Um, we're going to check with some of the EQ. I've got the low kind of, uh, at, uh, 11, at, at, uh, 11, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock right now. We're going to boost that up to about one. Okay, we're gonna go, uh, and also uh, correspondingly, the, uh, the 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 high was at uh, the high was at at uh, one o'clock as well. Now we're gonna boost up the high to about three. <laughs> I didn't really like that. Like, okay, so high is back at uh, one o'clock. We're gonna take the uh, low to three o'clock. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, dime both lows and highs and see how that sounds and um i haven't touched the uh, the, the the level or the uh, the gain at all that's <laughs> okay okay i'm just gonna play through the riff just gonna get a couple some like you know some some minutes in here but um oh that sounds awful <laughs> Okay, going back to the the levels I, that I, I pref that I would be playing with this, basically, 
High is at back at one o'clock, low is at three o'clock. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna play with the uh, actual like the volume and the gain. So level is at one o'clock and gain is at one o'clock. We're gonna turn. We're gonna we're gonna dime the uh, we're gonna dime the, uh, the the gain here. Sorry, I'm not much of a lead player. <laughs> okay, so uh, gain is back up to one o'clock. Uh, we've dimed the uh, the level. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, dude, you could you could kind of hear like uh, my uh, Princeton getting kind of flubby with that. I told it. Okay, so let's let's turn the, uh, the 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 lows to eleven, and then turn that 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 level all the way back up to ten. See if that changes anything. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm turning the highs down. Just... <laughs> Okay, low is going from 11 to 1. Yeah, works out pretty well. Okay, so, yeah. So what did I think about this pedal? As far as bosses like metal pedals go, <laughs> metal pedals, uh, this is, I, I think this stands the ground with all the other pedals. Um, we were talking, and we we're talking about the you know hyper metal. We're talking about the metal zone. Um, is this so? I'm, I'm playing this in, in front of a, a a Fender Princeton. It doesn't have an effects loop. I think if I would do a part two of this video, I would play this in front of a hundred watt uh, head, uh, in, in in front of the amp, and also in the effects loop. Uh, does this with a, with a question? looking to see if this works better as in front of the amp or as a, a preamp so like substitute how the uh, uh metal zone actually sounds the best at um yeah so is it straddling line like hyper metal which is awesome in front or is it more like the metal zone where it's like like it's supposed to be like a, 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 a preamp um, i'm guessing this is going to be closer to the hyper metal but again um I actually really like the way this sounds. I'm not a metal guy. Um, more of a pop punker. I do some surf, as you can tell, doing that little lead thing. And I do, like, you know, some, like, uh, not emo. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I do some some indie rocky, like, uh, punk rock stuff. But in, in hardcore and whatever. But it is not the pedal. this is not the pedal for those genres. With that being said, this pedal is pretty dope. If you're going for that metal thing and... You just want to get all your, your gain from a pedal. This has got to be into consideration. It's relatively new. It's got a cool little sparkly like uh, paint job going on. And it's relatively inexpensive. Again, I like this pedal. I would totally put this on, on my uh, board if I uh, needed to. Okay, again. Yeah, and so and for today's demo, was playing my... Uh, Brand new to me. Uh, uh, so today's pedal, uh, uh, today's demo, Sterling um, RS50 into the uh, Princeton Reverb. Um, yeah, thank you for sticking around. Um, be kind, like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. <laughs>